Every day, huge amounts of fish in our oceans are being wasted unnecessarily. Whether it be from illegal fish dumping or through the large amounts of legal waste, such as discarding undersized fish or non-valuable species back to the sea, dead. But why does this waste even occur? There are a few main reasons, but it all comes back to money and greed. What often happens is that big corporate quota owners give the fishermen a shopping list of species to go and catch. This shopping list is based on what species the quota owner can get the best price for at the time, and many species that the fisherman is likely to catch are just not included on the list. In this example, snapper is off the list. As we know, most fish don't live in isolation. They don't hang out in aisles and shelves like at the supermarket. Trying to match the catch to the shopping list is impossible. So when a trawler, which cannot selectively catch fish, pulls its net, there is likely to be 40 different species in the catch, and often over 35% of this catch can be undersized. After sorting out the fish that are on the shopping list, a whole bunch of other fish that are either not on the shopping list or are under the minimum size limit remain on deck. Of these remaining unwanted fish, the species that are in the quota management system and of legal size are required by law to be kept and accounted for. This means that the fishermen will have to pay a hefty fine called deemed value because they don't have the quota to cover their catch. So the fisherman has a tough decision to make. Dump the fish to avoid paying the fine or pay the fine and face the very real possibility of going out of business. Illegally dumping these fish is almost always the only realistic option available to a fisherman that wants to retain his livelihood. This unwanted catch is either wrapped in an old net with some weights and sent overboard, pricked in the guts so it sinks, or just swept overboard, which is why it washes up on beaches up and down the coast. So what happens to fish that are either under the minimum size limit or are not in the quota system, such as mau mau, boarfish, parrotfish, eels, and dozens of other fish species, corals, sponges, and invertebrates? They just get chucked back overboard, a shameful waste of a precious resource. The future of our fisheries floating in the sea. Millions of small fish killed each year. This system is screwing everyone apart from the corporate quota owners who are treating our fisheries as nothing more than a speculative share market type investment. Commercial fishermen forced to dump fish, killing lots of juveniles, only getting a few dollars while the quota owner runs off with the lion's share. The public, paying high prices for fish in shops, receiving no royalty from the private use of their resource. Recreational fishers, constantly battling to retain catch levels, and not being valued in any way. And the marine environment, suffering damage from old world fishing methods such as trawling, causing damage to sensitive seafloor areas. Yet seafood industry reps and the ministry still refer to this quota management system as world leading. Maybe it is for the 1500 quota owners, but for the rest of us it's not and something needs to be done about it. Legacy says that bulk harvesting methods such as trawling, which cannot demonstrate selectivity, should be banned from fishing within the 100 metre depth contour. If you want to make a stand on waste and the failing system that's causing it, then do something about it. Go to legacy.co.nz slash tip the scales and register your support. Together we can tip the scales.